Hey guys, it's Jake Hall, the Manufacturing Millennial. It's day six of the self-quarantine here in Michigan, and I have a fun product to show you guys today by QC Conveyors. This is the AS40 series, or their automation series. It's a low-profile conveyor that comes from widths from two inches all the way up to 24 inches wide, comes with a solid piece of extruded aluminum as its frame that can be cut to whatever length that you want for your application. It's got some really cool features. In the front, I have this tension release pulley where I have two buttons I press in, the pulley pops up, and then I have access to replace my belt, clean it, and do whatever maintenance I need to do. And once I'm done, I simply drop it back down and my belt's back in tension. In the back, I have a rotary motor that I can rotate depending on whatever position it needs to be in for my application. But what's really cool about this conveyor is this right here. This is a backlight built into the conveyor. Now, instead of just moving product from point A to point B, I can inspect that product while it's happening. I have a camera mounted above it where I can now check my length, width of the part, look for different key features on it that will allow me to do an inspection without having a secondary operation. But what's also really cool is I can use this conveyor now as a part filter. As the parts move down it, I can look for a specific part. Once I find that part and its position and orientation, I can then communicate to a robot to have that part be picked up. That's exactly what we did last year, and we got our project on the front cover of Vision Systems Design Magazine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and link this article in the description of this video, but it really opens up a lot more opportunities for you to think outside the box of your typical automation. At the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this project and some recordings that we did. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Flatten the curve with me, and I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow for part two with the inspection. Take care, guys.